Hi, I'm Mike Smith. I'm an attorney with Smith Barrett LLC. We're estate planning, elder law, and special needs attorneys here in Savannah, Georgia. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, elder law, which is one segment of our practice. And elder law really deals with planning for long-term care. So the immediate thing that springs to mind is, how am I going to pay for the nursing home? And that was a question that we used to get a lot from our clients. Uh, our firm really started as an estate planning firm, but we had so many clients come in and asking us about, well, I'm really concerned about you know, when I need to go to assisted living or to a nursing home, how am I going to pay for that? And so that's what, what led us to become involved in the elder law arena. And uh, we've, we've been practicing in that area for about six or seven years now. Um, so we've got a good bit of experience. Um, and really what we focus on in that area is, is three things. Um, you know, one is incapacity planning. Uh, so planning for what happens if you were to have a stroke or suffer from Alzheimer's. Uh, the second one is how do we pay for uh, long-term care? And then the third one is ultimately what happens after that loved one passes away? How do we deal with the estate at that point? So, uh, you know, the incapacity planning, we use tools like powers of attorney and trust to deal with assets and uh, what, what will happen when someone has an incapacity event. In the, the context of paying for long-term care, there are a couple of benefit programs that we focus on. One is Medicaid, which I'm sure a lot of folks have heard of. Uh, the, the misconception that people have is that uh, Medicare will pay for long-term care. And the reality is, is that Medicare is a program that's available for everybody who's 65 plus. And it's effectively health insurance. It doesn't pay for everything. You might need another policy to supplement, but it pays for hospital visits, doctor visits, you know, those sorts of things. And it also pays for rehabilitation. So if you had a fall and you were in a nursing home, it'll pay for your rehabilitation and it'll pay for about 100 days. And then after that, you're left with three possibilities. One is you private pay. So you reach in your own pocket and you pay you know, out of your own wallet. And for some folks, that's, a, that's, that's the way to do it. Some folks have the financial ability to do that. The second way that you can pay is with long-term care insurance. And there are a lot of different products that are available that under the term long-term care insurance now. So you have traditional long-term care insurance, you have life insurance policies with long-term uh, care benefits, and then you have some annuity products that have long-term care benefits. And then the third way you can pay is with, with government benefits, Medicaid being one of those programs. The other one is something that we got involved with some years back, and it's a program for wartime veterans who are 65 plus. It's called Veterans Aid and Attendance is how it's referred to. And what it does is it pays for any unreimbursed medical expenses that the veteran has. And there's some requirements that they have to meet to qualify, but that's where we help folks. We're very uh, familiar with the requirements. In fact, I do a lot of training for other attorneys around the country and how to, to uh, help folks with these types of claims. And then there's oftentimes legal work that's a piece of that that we, that we do. So that's one of the focuses of our practices on helping folks to plan for those long-term care events that, let's face it, there's a 70% likelihood that you're going to end up in a nursing home before you die. So there's a good chance that you're going to need the planning and it's important to get it done, you know, sooner rather than later.